Hey, Ash, you missed a spot. You know I don't need to be sweeping in my condition. <laughs> so guys, that time of year again. The weather's getting warmer. We can finally go outside without jackets on. And one of our favorite things to do is to entertain on our porches. However, most of yours might be like mine, very vacant. But Whitney and I have a solution for that vacancy. We're gonna build a $60 Studly outdoor dining table. And why is it Studly? Because we're only using two by four studs to build it. So grab your tools and let's get going. One more spot. Finish sweeping. Right Come on. My arms are so much hairier than yours. Oh, I have hairy arms. Not look at mine. Compared. Mine are, I think mine are hairy. To build this $60 studly dining table, you need 17 2 by 4 That is it. The tools we're going to be using are a drill, a miter saw, and a crankshaft. Okay, y'all, we've already made our cuts, so we are going to add pocket holes down nine of our 10 top boards. But we're going to add them down one long side, and that's going to be the underside of this tabletop. And then we're going to add one on each end, and those are to connect our breadboards. These are one and a half inch pocket holes, and we are using our K5 to make those. Okay, now we're just making one on each end, but I don't know if this is going to fit, and it does by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So one on each end, and then we're ready to get it put together. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is build the top for our table. And we're going to make sure that all the pocket holes are facing the same direction. We're going to take these um, boards. They're actually going to be used as our bread boards later. To straighten out, make sure we're starting with a straight edge on both sides. And then we are connecting everything with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Ashley. This is my table, so be nice to it. No pressure. <laughs> this board's a little bit bowed. Sometimes you'll get that with the two by fours, but these uh, pocket holes and the screws are stunk are squeezing them together. Is that sinking them, them together? together? Sucking yeah. them together and making them straight. Yeah. See, watch. Mm. See the gap right there? It's gonna suck it up. Straight. Once you've got the planks attached together, you're going to get a perfect fit for the breadboard and just do that by holding the breadboard up to the tabletop planks and you're going to mark where you need to make that cut. So now we're going back with the two and a half inch pocket hole screws through those pocket holes and it's going to attach that breadboard to the tabletop. And then we've got a tabletop. Done. Hi camera. <laughs> like licking up my nose. Tabletop done, now we're moving on to the bases. Okay, what is the measurement I need here, Ash? Eight and a quarter. Perfect. To create the bases, we're using the longer two by fours, and we're using two and a half inch spack screws and wood glue to attach our vertical boards. These will all attach together to form each base. Remember, download the free plan. I am building one of these bases, Ashley's gonna build the other, and then we'll join them together. And guys, I'd like to point out that Whitney is 35 weeks pregnant and she is building an outdoor dining table in a couple of hours, so if she can do it, you can do it. It does involve a lot of heavy breathing though, so. But she's still doing it. I'm getting it done. You can breathe heavy and build a table, it's you fine. Can. It's okay, so we have most of these bases built, both sides, and now we're gonna add feet pad, foot pads. Foot. So we're gonna add a foot pad. No, we are gonna add foot pads to under each one. To attach the foot pads, we're going to use two and a half inch spec screws again and wood glue at the bottom of each base. Ashley loves foot pads. I love foot pads. How about the quiet strike you're using? I'm gonna tell you about the quiet strike I'm using because Ashley told me to. So this is a new driver that we use that we absolutely love. What's the difference in a driver and a drill? Ash is really good at explaining this one. What's the difference in a driver and a drill? Ash? A drill just screws the screw in and a driver hammers and drills at the same time. There you go. See, she's such a pro at this. So well, elbow grease. It's extra. Yeah, it kind of it doesn't help. work for you. So our bases are done. We're going to take those over to our tabletop and set them down and we're going to attach our long runners first. These are attached by finding the center of each leg, marking it, putting the boards down on it, and attaching them with wood glue and two and a half inch spec screws. I'm doing three screws. That's great. You know my kids, so that's probably a good idea. Now we're putting the spec screws in from the bottom so yes. that we don't see the screws. You're so smart. Long runners are attached. Now we're ready for our middle runner. This is gonna run up and down and it supports the weight of those two long runners and the weight of the table. So we're marking center, attach those with wood glue and two and a half inch back screws. We're gonna stop right here and do our diagonal. 
diagonal pieces. Be sure to check out the plans. We have the exact measurements you're going to need on those. Using glue bot, our favorite thing ever. Okay, now we mark center on this piece right here, so you're going to make sure that the edge of that lines up, and that's where we'll know that the top is going to be attached. We're attaching those using wood glue and two and a half inch back screws. On some of them, you're gonna wanna go in through an angle to make sure it doesn't poke through. So, before we add this one screws. last runner, Ashley's gonna drive a few screws Here we go. into these top pieces, kind of at an angle, to make sure they don't poke out. She was reminding me to go in at yeah, an angle. Yeah, <laughs> Nicely. Oh, that's the most interesting shanty plant I've seen. That's good right there. Well, it's gonna be right there, actually. I've done Do you a want lot me to hold it while you... Nope. I can do it. That just shows the power of the quiet strike, if we're being <laughs> honest. <laughs> this is cut to size. We're going to attach it using our oh. driver and our shaving I don't know who made these measurements, but dang, they did good. Okay. Bang. Time to flip it. Done. Tabletop done. Let's flip it and gonna let Ash do the honors again. The entire base is done. Woohoo! So now it's time to attach the base onto the tabletop. To do that, we want to make sure that the base is centered on those tabletop planks. So we're not using wood glue on this part just to make the table easier to move. We're just attaching it once it's centered with two and a half inch spec screws through the base and into the tabletop. Add a few into the top runner also mm -hmm. into the tabletop to add support in the middle of the table. Hey, Whit. Yep. You know what I'm holding in my hand? What? The last screw to the Woo! table and, and then we're, we're done. done. Lunchtime. <laughs> it is lunchtime. Okay, wait. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna flip it over now and okay. then I'm gonna put a stain on it. Aren't you glad I'm helping so much? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I don't need any help. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be heavy lifting things or lifting I did everything. It. I don't need your help. You are so good. Should we test it? Sure. I feel like we should. Test the sturdiness? Yep. Alright, big mama. <laughs> Just kidding. No better I way to test to. it than a nine month pregnant lady, right guys? I like it. Me too. You did a good job. Good. You'll do a great job staining it too. Yeah. I believe in you. And there you have it. We've taken a boring patio and... Sorry, there was a fly. A fly! And there you have it. We have transformed this boring patio into a space that our family can gather. $60. 17 studs and a few hours of work later, and we are ready for summer. Bring it on, Summer. We're ready. Bam.